Welcome to the 8th grade Math Homework Helper Series. Tonight's homework is AA9, Parallel Lines and Transversals with Algebra. We'll take a look at the vocabulary one more time. A transversal, a line that crosses two or more lines and forms at least eight angles. Alternate interior angles are congruent on opposite sides of the transversal and inside the parallel lines. Alternate exterior angles are congruent on opposite sides of the transversal and outside the parallel lines, and corresponding angles are on the same side as the transversal and are congruent as long as the transversal is crossing parallel lines. Now we'll take a look at question number four. The directions state that in questions one through four, the figure below shows two parallel lines cut by a transversal. In each question, find the measure of all eight angles under the given conditions. So for number four, the conditions are that we have corresponding angles and that the measure of angle three is 2y minus 10 and the measure of angle two is y plus 60. And I highlighted which two we're focusing on for this question. And you may recognize immediately that these are vertical or opposite angles and therefore when we find the value of one, we should know the other. Nonetheless, I'm gonna work both of these out though just so we can prove that. So the first thing we need to do though is solve for y. So if we take both of these equations and set them equal to each other, subtract 10 from both sides, subtract y from both sides, we get y equals 70. And then we can take 70 and substitute it back into each of these equations. So we'll solve for angle number two first. So we have y plus 60, which brings down 70 plus 60, which gets us to 130. So angle two is 130 degrees. Again, we know angle 3 should also be 130 degrees. If we do 2y minus 10, 2 times 70 minus 10, 140 minus 10 brings us to 130. So knowing the value of angle 2 and angle 3, we can take the rules that we know and use them to solve for the additional angles that we have here. We'll start with number 1. Angle number one is supplemental to angle number three. Supplemental means together they equal 180. So that means that angle three has to be 50 degrees. 50 plus 130 equals 180. Now we're gonna take a look at angle four. Angle four is vertical to angle one. So which means it has to have the same value as angle one, which gets us 50 again. If we look at angle five over here, Angle 5 is an alternate interior angle to angle number 4. And so that means they have to be congruent. Angle number 6 is an alternate interior angle to angle number 3, which also means they have to be congruent. Angle 7 is a vertical angle to angle 6, which means they have to be congruent. And angle 8 is a vertical angle to angle number five, which means they have to be congruent. And that method of solving these isn't the only way that you could have used. You know, you could determine eight based on the fact that it's supplemental to six. There's many different ways that you could have gone about it. So that's just one possible way of having found all the different values for these angles. Next, we'll take a look at question six. Two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. The measure of two alternate interior angles are 6m plus 52 and 4m plus 5m minus 2. We need to find the measure of those two angles. So I did a diagram and I used the blue circles to highlight which two angles specifically we're focusing on with the in, um, alternate interior angles. So the first thing we need to do is solve for m by setting both of these equations equal to each other. And then we combine like terms, so we get 6m plus 52 equals 9m, combining the 4 and the 5, minus 2. Then we subtract 6m from both sides. That gets 52 equals 2m minus 3m minus 2. Add 2 to both sides, and we get 54 equals 3m. Divide by 3, we determine that m is equal to 18. We then substitute 18 into both of the equations for m. 
So with 4m plus 5m minus 2, we get 4 times 18 plus 5 times 18 minus 2. So we get 72 plus 90 minus 2. 72 plus 90 gives us 162 minus 2 gets 160. So one of the angles is 160 degrees. Now we know that alternate interior angles are congruent. And so if this is 160 degrees, the second one also has to be. But again, we'll solve it out. So we have 6m plus 52. 6 times 18 gets us 108. Plus 52 is 160 degrees. And lastly, we'll take a look at question number 7. Two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. The measure of the two corresponding angles are 5y minus 20 and 2y plus 16. Find the value of all eight angles formed by the parallel lines cut by the transversal. And so we have two corresponding angles. I've marked them out with the blue circles right here. First thing we need to do is solve for y. We set both equations equal to each other. First thing I did was add 20 to both sides and then subtract 2y from both sides. That got 3y equals 36. And then if we divide by 3, y will equal 12. If we plug 12 back into the equations, we have 5y minus 20, 5 times 12 minus 20, 60 minus 20, or 40. So that tells me that one of these is equal to 40. And again, I know the other one has to be equal to 40 because they're congruent. If we look at the math to prove it, you can see we have 2 times 12 plus 16, 24 plus 16 gets us 40. Now using the rules that I know, I can determine that across from 40 is a vertical angle. That also has to be 40. Across from 40 on this side is a vertical angle, has to be 40. Supplementary angles, they have to equal 180. So that tells me that this is 140. A vertical angle this way and supplementary to this 40 has to be 140. And same idea over here. So having to report out what's the easiest way to do this, well, I think the easiest way to do it is if you, if you notice, we have acute angles that are all worth 40 and obtuse angles that are all worth 140. So we could simply say that all the acute angles are worth 40 degrees, and all the obtuse angles have a value of 140 degrees. Please use the work that was done for you tonight to help you to solve the additional problems that are on your homework. And remember, the key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.